going on YouTube? So today we're going to check out the Cronova XPE660 home theater projector. This is an LED projector and I wanted to get a projector so that I could actually uh, project it against my house outside or something kind of like for the kids in the neighborhood. Uh, something that was a little bit mobile. I don't really have any areas in my house that I can put this um, for a permanent setup, but I wanted this to be a little bit mobile so I bought it. Uh, it's a little cheaper than buying kind of like a six or seven hundred dollar or eight hundred or a thousand plus uh, projector. This ended up being about uh, I think it was two twenty nine, so not too bad with the features it actually has. Um, if you want to check that out, I'll link it in the description below. So let's go ahead and check and see what's in the box. So first thing is the box with accessories. So you have a remote, an HDMI cable, power plug for the projector. Uh, looks like an auxiliary cable, so that way you can uh, use RCA. I don't think anybody uses RCAs anymore. They come up with uh, optical tissue, uh, so that way that you can clean the lens if you need to. A warranty card, an instruction booklet, a little uh, manual on what to do with it and what everything is. Are you happy with our product? Let us know card. So here it is out of the box. It was uh, in a little bit of styrofoam and a little cover on it. It's white in color here, as you can see, a little uh, silver metal trim here. It does have a screw down here, so you can adjust the height of, well, looks like it's got the, that screwed onto it, but you can adjust the height of this. It's got a little rubber cap on the lens to, to uh, make sure that's covered and keeps it safe. You have the infrared port for the remote right here. Then it looks like you have some speakers here. So that is one thing about this projector that's nice versus most projectors, most of your uh, higher quality ones don't have speakers in them because they expect you to hook it up to a home theater system or external speakers. So this does have speakers on it. Um, to test that out, it's pretty hard to do over like a, a video camera to actually get the quality of the audio, but I'll let you know what I think when I test it out. But here you got the AV input, audio out. Then you have uh, PC R RGB, basically your uh, VGA port here if you want to hook up something there. Then on the back side you have, it uh, looks like an infrared port. You can actually connect something here to extend the infrared. So if you have this mounted on the ceiling or back behind you and you know, you're like your couch in front is in front of it, it might be hard to actually get the remote to connect to it. So you might get an external infrared port in front of you. So you got two USB ports here, two HDMI ports, which is really nice. Um, being that I saw that a VGA port was on here, I was kind of thinking that I might get one HDMI port, so two is nice. An on and off switch, and uh, the power plug. On the other side here, you got two big vents here, so that way you can keep it cool. I definitely want to do kind of a test, a decibel test on how loud the fan is, because that does make a difference. If you're in a very quiet room and you've got that going, it might be difficult to hear uh, what's going on on the actual movie or TV show or whatever. It can be a nuisance. Then I wanted to show at the very top, you got the logo right here. Looks like you got a power button or a power button right here, but a power uh, status light there. Um, some arrow buttons here, an OK button, uh, an S and M button. I'm not sure exactly what those will do, and a back button. Uh, these will obviously, it looks like uh, without the remote, you can actually control everything from here if you want to, but you also do have uh, the convenience of the remote. So this is a 190 millimeter LCD projector lens. It can project between 3.7 feet and 19.7 feet, going from a 60 inch to a 200 inch viewing size for projection distance. It has 5,000 lux brightness, 4,000 to one contrast ratio, and supports up to 1080p. Also, I wanted to make mention that there is some light in this basement, so from the outside. And so we'll be able to test out how well, um, how bright the actual projector is. Because that is one of the things that uh, people complain about projectors is if there's any light that you can't control, sometimes if it's really bright in the room, you can't really see what's being projected very well. And it makes a big difference. Being that this is 5,000 lumens, uh, or lux, pretty similar measurement, but that's a really bright. So first of all, I'll give credit. This is MKBHD's uh, channel. Actually, this is one of his videos. I'll link his channel in the description so you can check him out if you don't know anything about him. Uh, I'd be pretty surprised if you're a tech person and don't know anything about him, but he does great tech reviews and I actually enjoy watching his channel. 
But as you can see, it is actually pretty uh, clear and pretty bright. Uh, on the left hand side, it is a little bit faded because I do have a window with a lot of sunlight coming in. Um, not really anything I can do about that other than put up window shades. Um, it is midday out and it's really sunny outside. So, But it does give me some hope when it gets uh, dark out or a little bit darker, uh, telling me that I can actually uh, have a lot of bright colors and this is actually a good machine. And the colors itself actually are pretty good too. I'm really impressed with that for their, how much this thing is. I don't know if you can see this, but I have the actual sound measurement app on my phone that will show how loud in decibels the audio, or actually not the audio, but the fans that cool off this machine, how loud they are. As you can see, I'm talking right now and it gets up to about 83 or so, but I'll stop talking here and you'll actually see how, what it actually is. So it's about 66, 67 decibels, which isn't too loud. Um, that's with the fan on itself. And as you can tell, uh, me talking is about 70 to 80, I think a peak of 88. So not too bad. But overall, I do like this machine for the price. Um, I'm actually pretty excited now that uh, I know what it's about and what kind of quality it is. So I don't have to return it or anything like that. Um, for I think yeah I think I said 225 229 I think it is I think they run discounts too every once in a while but for the price uh, I haven't really re reviewed any other projectors but I know that really good ones can range up in the almost thousand range and even above that when you get into the cinema style projectors so being one that I'm actually going to take outside and uh, move this around I don't feel so bad for spending 225 dollars on this and actually I'm pretty impressed with the actual quality it produces. And I know they've come a long way with projectors too. But like I said, if you are interested in checking this product out, I will link it in the description below. If this is your first time to this channel, consider subscribing. And if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this uh, further than what I've discussed, uh, you can go ahead and put it down in the comments and I'd be happy to respond to anything that I know about on this machine. Other than that, I will see you next time.